I get some on the bed and some. What's up, boys? Today is the day we finally made it to finest release. I'm super excited, man. Look at the top right hand corner. Look at the top right hand corner. All cards eligible. You love to see it, bro. So we have a new finest series. Not finest series, sorry. New team affinity, which is finest series. I am so stoked. Let's go take a look at all the cards. So I looked at the shop and there's nothing in the shop. Uh, you do get this. Oh, I guess there's one thing. You get this free Ryan McMahon. Not bad. Absolutely free card for Thanksgiving. You love to see it. Okay. So you'll get that. Okay. And then what we're really looking at is uh, the XP reward path team affinity. Let's do let's do the XP reward path first. Okay. So you're going to get like a lot of the replays right now. So like you're going to get a lot of the, the, the replays of the cards. So you'll get like season one bosses, season two bosses based on what I'm seeing. Right. They added a new thing where if you earn a pack, like this special pack right here, you get it next year. So that's pretty lit, right? That, that, that's pretty lit. So love to see that. Um, so here's our first reward. Tanner Scott, fastball slider, change up, sinker. Love to see it. Okay. And then we have the extreme rewards. Uh, season two bosses. Then we have finest Zach Wheeler. That actually should be pretty good, honestly. His cards are usually really good. And then we have Chase Packs 1 through 16. Okay. That's pretty self-explanatory. We have Nolan Arenado with the Cycle. All right. Then we have uh, Finest Kenley Jansen. I wish they would have given him a changeup. That would have been awesome. Uh, Jose Ramirez. Yes. Yes. Been waiting for a Jose Ramirez all year. He doesn't have the same swing that he's had in years past, but I'm pretty sure he'll still be fine. He switch hits. Love to see it. And then we have Bobby. Yo, Bobby. This Bobby card is unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Quirks? Quirks. All right. He has one quirk. Love to see it. All right. So that's your XP reward path. Starting out pretty freaking lit if I do say so myself. All right. So, then we have Team Affinity. This is what we've all been looking forward to, right? Let's go take a look at it. We have, obviously, some packs. Let's go look at the AL East. We have Colton Kowser. Okay. Let me see who my pick is going to be out of these. Tyler O'Neill. I usually don't like his swing. Aaron Judge. <laughs> I mean, I think Aaron Judge has to be, has to be your pick right here. I mean, look at him, bro. If you want to see an Aaron Judge debut, you, you let me know. Then we have Edwin. I don't even know how to pronounce his last name. I'm not even going to try. But he's a closing pitcher, and he has all of the pitches that you want. So uh, he'll probably be on the God Squad. And then we have a little Daddy Vladdy. I mean, I'm going to use him as well. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to use all these finest cards. So I'm probably picking, I'm probably picking Judge and then Vladdy Jr. Okay, let's go take a look. At the AL Central, we have Garrett Crochet. Uh, I mean, I think he can be used. He has a sinker and a cutter, so we'll see how he does. I wish he had a slider instead of a slurve, but, I mean, he should be all right. He should be all right. Steven Kwan, they gave him a lot of power. Oh, my. Okay, love to see that. Riley Green. Uh, okay. Seth Lugo. Griffin Jacks. Relief pitcher. I don't know. We'll see. It also depends on on um, their 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 deliveries. If the delivery is really good, then probably be on the team. So, and then we have Garrett Crochet. So I'm probably picking Garrett Crochet before I pick anybody else. Now we go take a look at the AL West. We have Alex Bregman. I was actually really excited about this card. I wish it was a little bit better. Um, his swing is usually really really good. I wish they would have maxed his clutch. Then he would have been insane. Still not a bad card, but could have been a lot better. We have Taylor Ward. This is the pick. This is the pick right here, Taylor Ward. You love to see it. Then we have Mason Miller. Um, he's always pretty deceptive, so he might be on the squad. George Kirby doesn't have a cutter, so he's probably not on. The he doesn't have a cutter, so he's probably not on the team. And then we have Kirby Yates. Uh, fastball splitter slider slurve. So. I would honestly pick, like, probably 
Taylor Ward, Mason Miller, Alex Bregman. One of those three will probably be your first pick. The NL East. All right. Max Freed. Uh, I remember that Max Freed last year absolutely dominated me. We have Otto Lopez. I don't even know who this is, but his card looks really good. Uh, Luis Severino. And I, I know you saw I know you saw the next player. He's probably everybody's pick. First pick. Here we go. Yep. Trey Turner. Every single year, Trey Turner is absolutely insane. Can we take a second to look at the freaking card art? It's sparkling. It looks unbelievable. You love to see it, bro. And then we have Luis Garcia. Uh, he's actually going to be pretty glitchy, I think. I'm probably going to try him out as well. So, Trey Turner, then probably Luis Garcia, and then Severino. All right. And then we have the NL Central. Uh, Seiya Suzuki. Not bad. Not bad. Spencer Steer. Then we have Willie Adamas. And I think you guys know who everybody's pick is going to be in this division. We have Brian Reynolds. Once again, he gets the finest card every year for the Pirates. And I'm not complaining because his cards are absolutely unbelievable. So he'll probably be my first pick. If you want to see a Brian Reynolds debut, you let me know right now. I'm going to try to get this up the same day so uh, you guys can see who to pick for your finest picks, all right? So Sonny Gray, um, yeah, I mean, Brian Reynolds, Brian Reynolds is the pick right here, okay? We have the NL West, Jock Peterson off the bench, gonna be hitting some freaking bombs. 125 clutch, love to see that. Ezekiel Tovar, 125 clutch. Uh, I've never used him, so I don't know about his swing. Tyler Glass now, eh, eh. He doesn't really have many of the meta pitches. Jackson Merrill. His swing was pretty good, I think. Um, and then Matt Chapman. Yeah, so I'm probably picking Jock just for a bench bat and then probably Jackson Merrill. So there we go. We just went through every single card in the team affinity. Um, they're absolutely insane. Now let's go take a look at the collection rewards because I think you guys are going to really, really love these. I mean, it's going to be absolutely incredible. So watch me. saw a couple of them on Twitter already. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. So, we have 99 captains now, which is amazing. Because they listened to us when we said that we don't want captains that are going to, like, sabotage the team, right? We want to be able to use those cards. So, Captain Boost, right? He gets 12. So, for 16 2024 finest players, he gets 12 batting clutch, 8 speed, 10 hits per 9, 10 hits per 9, 10 walk per 9 absolutely love that that's insane that's gonna be awesome for those team builds then we have justin martinez i don't know how well he's gonna do i've never used him but his stats look pretty good william Contreras, yeah william Contreras is unbelievable then we have anthony santander always love using anthony santander cards absolutely love it bryce harper yeah yeah we need bryce harper on the squad oh my gosh Thank you. And then Ketel Marte Parte. Yeah, he's going to be on everybody's squad. Absolutely incredible. So there you go. Those are the collection rewards. Is there anything new that I'm missing? Uh, I don't think there's another one of these collections. So that kind of sucks. I thought we were... Collect player items from one through three to earn rewards. So I don't, I don't know if we're getting another one of these. I don't know. I'm confused. But um, there you go. So let's take... A look at the team affinity i'm going to show you exactly how we're going to unlock all this stuff just like we've done in past videos so let's do all of the moments and then i'll show you where we're at by the end of all the moments okay all right so this one four total bases i could do that i could do that i can't do that i can't do that i can do that i can do that i can do that oh yeah one moment done all right, O'Neal is back. We have to hit one home run with him. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my, Tyler O'Neal. That was absolutely crushed. Thank you. All right, this one we have to hit a home run with Aaron Judge. Oh my, Aaron Judge, deep center field. Ole, ole. <laughs> All right, I think we just gotta do one inning with a strikeout. Oh, his delivery is really slow. Might make me rage trying to hit him. 
There we go. One. There's a strikeout. Also, did anybody see? I know you guys saw it. You had to have. Um, sets and seasons are officially gone for 2025. I'm super hyped, bro. I am. I am stoked. I mean, seeing sets and seasons be gone for MLB The Show 25 is incredible. Absolutely incredible. We're getting back to the old days where the game was absolutely insane. The content was insane. I cannot wait, bro. Hopefully, this is just the start because there's a lot more uh, other than sets and seasons that they need to do to keep this game fresh. Um, we got to get a new type of gameplay. Uh, it can't be like MLB The Show 24.5. You know what I mean? Like, it has to feel like a brand new game. And... We need a lot more game modes and things like that and a lot more legends so hopefully this is them them dropping sets and seasons is a, a start in the right direction and um you know we're in for an amazing year in mlb the show 25 i really hope i really hope one can hope you know what i mean so we'll see we'll see but this definitely is a good start oh yeah vladdy jr little daddy vladdy no. Drop. Yeah. All right. So we're burning through these moments, bro. Easy, oh, easy right. moments. Oh, also, for anybody that's uh, considering gifting, I think you get 35% off five gifted this, like, today. I saw that on Twitter. Unless I'm wrong, I don't know. All right, so we're on to the AL Central, and we have to pitch one inning with Garrett Crochet, and I think strike out one. Eight, three. Two down. Two down, two down, two down. But let me know your guys' thoughts on sets and seasons being gone next year. I can't wait, bro. I I can't wait. We're going to start the game on, a, like, a normal creep again. Like, you know, power creep. Oh, it's amazing. It's like a, it's like a breath of fresh air, bro. I don't know if it's double XP, by the way. It feels like it is. All right, one extra base hit. No. No. I'm just gonna push it. Oh, no, bro. I've never failed a moment. I don't know. Okay, I didn't fail it. I just wanted to, all right. I just wanted to see, like, see myself get a hit. That's why I didn't want to hit the extra base hit. Watch, watch, watch. Hold on. Also, this is kind of, um, this is kind of sad, bro. This is probably my last type of video for the year. Like, I don't, I don't see us getting another, like, huge content drop like this for the rest of the year. So, like, I'm probably not going to be doing any of these, like, oh, any of these, like, grinding videos. I'm kind of, I'm kind of sad, bro. Um, but I'll definitely do a lot more of these next year because you guys seem to really like them. So, yeah, we'll work on, we'll work on those next year. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're going to get any more, like, huge content drops like this for the rest of the year. So, you know, enjoy this last video. Tally two runs batted in. I will do that right now. Give me one second. Wait, does that mean I just have to hit two home runs? Because there's nobody on base. Why isn't anybody on base? I'm cheated. I'm getting cheated. Okay, there's one RBI. Bro, the one thing that, I, that I'm... Su oh my gosh. The one thing that I'm super, super excited about... Uh, obviously, with Season 4 is obviously the new content... But to be able to, like, have access to every card for team builds and stuff like that, that's why I think it got so boring because you couldn't really use ball, anything else because everything was locked up. You know what I mean? So I'm super excited that that is, uh... That, that, that we're free from sets and seasons and we're able to use every card. Showstopper! There we go. Easy moment, easy moment. Okay. This one, we just have to pitch one inning with Seth Lugo. I actually can't believe how unbelievable Seth Lugo was this year. Like, he was he was incredible. Three. One down. Two down. Oh, yeah. Okay, Jax Griffin. Wait, wait, sorry. <laughs> Griffin Jax. <laughs> Here we go, baby. We just got to pitch this and strike out two, I think. Wait, so the... The Twins have two guys that just throw absolute gas now. Three. They have Johan Duran and then this guy. Oh my gosh. How did they lose so many games? Oh, and two. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There we go. Okay. The AL Central is done. On to the AL West. Okay. We have to hit a home run with Breggy Bombs. So you're going to see his swing right now. It's absolutely amazing. That's why I wish they would have juiced him just a little bit. But we can juice him ourselves by using the Corbin Burns boost. So, um... Oh my gosh, I can't wait to make a full finest squad. Obviously, I'm gonna do the debuts first, nope. but when I when I get enough players to do the the full finest squad, bro, they're gonna be unbelievable. I missed it. I missed it. Oh yeah! Thank you. One down. Why did I say one down? Well, one down. One one moment down. Two extra base hits for Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward. I feel like he's the pick, guys. I feel like he's the pick that you need. Just a great swing, great player. You know, he's an angel. Like, wh what else? What else could you ask for in a finest card? You know, uh, he's amazing. Best card, best Olé. card in the finest card collection, honestly. All right, pitch one inning with Mason Miller. Shout out to Mason Miller. I found out recently that he watched the YouTube videos back in the day. Back in MLB The Show 21, I think. So, hey, shout out to Mason Miller. One thing I am a little concerned about, guys, with this finest drop is I hope, I hope SDS doesn't, like, completely stop content. Like, at least a, a little bit of content you know, to keep it fresh, like, until the end of the... The MLB The Show 24 cycle. I just, uh, I really hope they don't just decide to stop dropping content. Because this is yeah, awesome right now. Um, but it will get stale quickly if they just stop dropping content. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping that they don't do that. If they do do that, <laughs> do do. Then, you know, we, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna make our own content. But I hope, hopefully they don't. So they can keep a lot of people engaged. I know a lot of people are coming back to MLB The Show just for finest. It happens every single year. Uh, if you're one of those people, hey, welcome back. Olé. Welcome back. I kept your seat warm for you, all right? I kept your seat warm for you. So, yeah, welcome back. I'm glad you came back. All right, so the rest of this moment, or, or the AL West moments, I think are just um, pitching, so it should be pretty quick. All right, there we go. I actually can't believe Kirby Yates was an angel and like we needed bullpen and stuff and then they kind of just let him go and then he went to San Diego and became unbelievable like that's just that's just what happens when you're an angel you know it, it, when you're an angel like things just go wrong there we go all right well AL West is done now we just have the NL to take care of all right, we got to pitch one inning with Freed. I'm trying to think who else deserves a finest card that doesn't have one right now. What are you guys thinking? What are you guys thinking? Help me try to remember. Is there anybody that didn't get a finest card in this drop that should get one later on? That way we can look forward to it. None of the Dodgers because they all got like World Series cards. Yeah, bro. Can we get a finest Ellie? And Ellie would be unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and Ellie, and Ellie, I think, is the only one I can think of. Twitch chat's throwing up some names right now. Throw some names in the comment section below who you think uh, could potentially get a finest card that we can look forward to. Three. Skeens is a good one. Skeens is a good one, but he already has a couple 99s. I don't know how you would make it different unless you gave him, like, a cutter and stuff. A cutter and sinker and stuff. Okay, easy. One moment down. Tally one hit with Otto Lopez. Woo! Otto Lopez! I can't remember what I had to do. Did I have to hit a home run or something? Extra base hit! Stolen base! Okay, hold on. Hold on. Ah! Get back! No! Alright, we'll try this again. Hold on. Some shitter from the Marlins, bro. Alright, let's try it now. Let's try it now. Don't pick me off this time, bro. Stop trying so hard. It's November. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. You swung! Bro, are you serious? Are we serious? Are we being Are we being for real? Are we being serious? Are we being for real and serious? Are we being serious and for real? 
Go, 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 go. Nice! All right. Bro, remember trying to steal bases with Ricky Henderson and your team kept swinging the bat? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Okay. What's going on here? Why are the Marlins the best team of e ever? Why are the Bar Why are the Marlins the best team ever? Hello? Alright, easy. We let two runners on and then we're like, no, we're not letting anyone score. Love to see it. There it is. There it is. That's that Trey Turner swing, bro. That's that Trey Turner swing. Alright, two hits for Luis Garcia Jr. For some reason, I always thought he was a switchy, but I just read he's a lefty. Boom! Yeah, that swing felt good. That swing felt good. We're gonna have some fun with these cards, bro. I feel it. We're gonna have a lot of fun with these cards. All right, so the NL East is done. Now we move on to the NL Central. Seiya's impact, Seiya's impactful blast. Seiya's impactful blast, all right? So can I hit a home run in Wrigley? Probably not. Did anybody see the rumors of the Angels potentially trading for Cody Belly Bombs? I would love that, but the Cubs would have to eat a lot of that contract. I'm not gonna lie. Unless the Angels just eat all of the contract and they don't have to really trade much of anything. But uh, I don't know. I'd, I'd be okay with belly bombs in center field for us. It, it, it would move Trout to like left or right. And I'm not, I'm not upset with that. Obviously you would want more for the money. Um, like obviously belly isn't worth, in my opinion, how much he's being paid right now. But... You know, he's still an impactful bat that will help a team get better. So, I, I, I don't know. We'll see. It's all going to depend on whether or not Artie wants to see me smile. So, uh, most likely we're not going to trade for him or get better. But, you know what I mean. I don't even know what I was supposed to do right there. Tally one run batted in. <laughs> I'm completing moments without even knowing how to complete moments. Unbelievable. Also, when I'm done with these moments, I'm going to do all of the exchanges. And then I'll show you guys exactly where we're at after just doing the exchanges and the moments. Okay, so we should be... We should be doing pretty well. Woo! Willie Adamas. That swing felt really good. Usually, I don't like his swing, but that one felt good. Tally, one extra base hit with Brian Reynolds. Base hit? Do I need an extra base hit, though? I might have messed up. Yeah, we lost. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened, why it failed, but I'm gonna just try again. Maybe, maybe the game is broken. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's the Brian Reynolds swing. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use him. I think I've decided Brian Reynolds is getting the first debut. He's definitely getting the first debut of the year, of the finest year. So, maybe we'll throw in some other finest players as we do the debut with Brian Reynolds, but, bro, we gotta use him. He's incredible. Thank you. There we go. That should be it, right? One more. Three. Oh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, look. I already got the Season 1 XP path. All right. All right there we go. The NL Central is done. Now we have the NL West, and then we're, we're really done. Base hit. Oh my gosh. Oh. Does that count? What do I have to do? Two hits. Yeah, I got cheated. Oh yeah. Jock Peterson. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a bench bat we definitely need to use. No. Oh my. Jock. Yup. Yup. Yep. Olay. Yep. Ole! All right. Now we have Tovar's breakout season. Like, yeah, Tovar had a good season, but did he have a better season than Zach Neto? I don't think so. I think Zach Neto's the best. You know what I mean? Like, he can have a breakout season, but he's just not even close to Zach Neto. That's the that's that's the that's the truth. Outside, that's you know, that's the truth. Oh yeah. Double home yeah. run. I mean, look, Tovar plays in Colorado. 
I mean, is he really that good of an offensive player? I don't know. I, I don't know. And there's not even any Colorado Rocky fans to even, like, like, try to argue with me. You know what I mean? Like, because they don't have fans. You know what I mean? They don't. <laughs> they don't have any fans. Oh, man. All right. LA's newest star. Pitch one inning with Tyler Glasnow. Oh, yeah. Two strikes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, that's easy. These moments are almost done. And then I'm going to show you where we end up after doing all the moments and then the exchanges. We're almost there. No. No. Jackson Merrill, deep right field. Bro. Fair ball. Fair ball. Foul ball. No. Oh, yeah. Come on, home run. Jackson Merrill sucks. Jackson Merrill sucks. Jackson Merrill sucks. All right, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Good swing. Great swing. Awesome player. Let's go. All right, last moment. Last moment. We hit one home run with Matt Chapman. No. I can't hit home runs, bro. Oh, I have to sneeze. Oh, I sneezed. Oh my gosh, did I home run? Did I hit a home run while sneezing? Did I hit a home run while sneezing? Oh my, I'm the best. Okay, I'm gonna do all the exchanges and then I'm gonna show you exactly where we end up. All right, I'll show you. Uh, just doing all the moments and the exchanges will probably get you. I don't know. We'll see. Let me let me do this real quick and then I'll, I'll skip ahead. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, so all of the exchanges are done. Let me show you real quick. Boom, we have all of those done for every single division. So it gets you to right here. 100,000 team affinity points. Uh, so you'll get two players from every division by doing all the moments and all the exchanges. Pretty elite, if I do say so myself. It's pretty quick. Absolutely love that. Um... So yeah, that's going to go ahead and be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wanted to get this video out. I wanted to get this video. I wanted to get this video out today. That way you guys can see everything while you're logging on tonight. Um, and you can decide how you're going to attack Team Affinity. After the Team Affinity or, or after the moments and exchanges, I definitely would suggest doing the... I would suggest doing the AL East Showdown. Uh, you'll get 60,000, so you'll end up at 160,000. Uh, so you'll be only 10,000 away from your next pack after that. So you'll have three of the packs and then 10,000 away from the fourth one. And yeah, that's absolutely insane. So make sure to do that for each division. Is it each division or each league? I think it's each division. Yeah, it's definitely each division. So you're gonna have to do six different showdowns. But by the time you're done with that, you're going to be pretty much almost done with Team Infinity. And the shutdowns really aren't that hard. So you should be able to get through them pretty quickly. So, yeah, there you go. That is Season 4 Team Affinity Finest. Cards are absolutely insane. I cannot wait to continue grinding this so I can get you guys these debuts, all right? All right, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.